Hi there guys and welcome back to another progress video. So progress towards IFB, well so after DKs I started off camping QBD and in just a few days I racked up quite a lot of KC putting me up to around eight or 900. However, it's quite intensive um, and despite the fact that QBD is about 10 or 11 mil an hour doing between 30 and 32 kills per hour, it is still something that I, I couldn't really continue at that rate for. So I decided to also get take a break and go and do some Calfight King when I'm not AFK and then I want to, when I want to AFK or just chill out a little bit, go to Chaos Elemental. So starting off with Chaos Elemental then, I, as you might have guessed, this is the pet that I managed to obtain. It took me over just over 1,000 kills, uh, so with a KC of 1,045. And I did it mostly with uh, either a Gano and Polypore or Royal Dehyde and an RCB. In terms of loot, I didn't actually get any single piece of either Statius, Vesta, Zuriels or Morrigan's Ancient Armor, nor did I get any statuettes, uh, which you can sell to the guy in the bank at Edgeville. However, I did get nine uh, Dragon 2Hs, as you'll see a couple of clips of me getting a few here. Uh, so that came to 1.2 mil, so pretty much no loot from this boss. So moving on to other progress that I've made in the last few weeks. First off is Calfight King. I've done nearly doubled up my kills from 900 to about 1,800 now. Uh, so that's nearly five thresholds, which is pretty good and had quite a few personal drops there, lots of effigies. And I think I'm on about 12 or 13 perfect chitin drops as well. So that's kind of nice, even though they're useless. Um, QBD, I've gone from 200 to almost 1,200 kills, which is... A lot of QBD, kind of too much. I'm a little bit sick of it now, so it'd be good to finish that one up as well. Um, then aside from that, I've just been doing general PVM. So I've done a bit of mole just to get my KC up when uh, other people have gone. Uh, I've been done about 100 Araxors, mostly duo. I've been sniped for a few pets and a few legs and had no luck myself. So same as always there. That's pretty much it as far as uh, my kills go. So basically what I've decided to do at the end of each episode is just show a clip of the loot tab so far. So I decided to make a loot tab since my I got my Dagonoth King's pets and try and just leave my loot tab until I finish getting an insane final boss um, and just see how much money I managed to make. So whilst I'm doing this, I'm going to quickly talk you through where most of this loot has come from. So a high majority of it has come from QBD, logs, herbs, and obviously all the raw crossbow pieces along with the dragon bolt, um, dragon bones and hides, all QBD. A uh, fair amount of KK as well, although um, obviously KK does give a lot of sharks, so not as much from there. There's a few raids pieces for sure, and then the other high majority is um, from Araxor. Now the only thing that I forget to put in this clip is the onyxes, and I've got around 15 to six, uh, I think about 16 onyxes from Araxor, um, so I can put those in. And obviously from Kiln as well, that will increase the amount of Onyxes that I've got. I will get eventually around 100, if not more, in the tab. That's all for this one, guys. Apart from, I'd quite like to give a quick shout out to Supreme Leader Nick, or known as Shu in game, our clan leader, who also got a vit in hard mode recently, and so did another clan member, Real. So, uh, grats to them, and don't beat me to IFB. Oh, and do have a look at Nick's... Uh, supreme mixtape guide i'd like to say um it's pretty funny i'll link it in the description below have a good one guys